Hi, my name is Connor. I'm from Indiana, and I'm a sophomore majoring in biology. And I want to be a chemistry LA because chem didn't come naturally to me at first, especially as I had not taken chem since freshman year of high school before coming to college. So I know what it's like to feel behind the majority of the class and struggle to take effective notes and keep up during lectures. And I would love to help ease that struggle for other chem students, as my peer mentors once did for me, by offering the learning strict tricks and strategies that have allowed me to get through the classes. I also have teaching experience, uh, including being a private piano tutor for two students over the last two years, as well as good teamwork and communication skills from being on the varsity fencing team. One example of some advice I'd give to students to develop better study and learning strategies would be on how to prepare before class, uh, which would be to watch the supplementary videos first to get a general understanding, because for many people, having a person verbally explain a new concept may be better than just trying to read it and then reading the textbook alongside the slides slash lecture notes for the next class so you know what parts of the text you need to focus and take notes on. Basically how I do it is I would go over um, how I would approach a problem and then I would go over what the student went wrong or how the student went wrong. And so first thing I would do is I'd underline what we have. So we have 25 milliliters of what kind of acid, weak or strong, It's a weak acid. And then we have 0 0.175 molars of NaOH, which is what kind of base, weak or strong? It's a strong base. <clears throat> and the second part is the equivalence point. And so what does the equivalent point mean in a titration? So we can actually draw it out. And so since we're adding strong base, we know that the pH will be increasing as the titration goes on. And so it'll look something like this. And the equivalence point, as we know from lecture, will be right here. And this is where we know that the moles of weak acid equal the mole of strong base. And so by solving for the number of moles of strong base, we are also solving for the moles of weak acid. And once we have that, we should be able to divide it by the original volume of 25 milliliters to get our concentration of the ethanoic acid before any base is added. And so in order to solve for the moles of strong base here, okay, let's work with what we have. We have the concentration, 0 0.175. And what is molars? How do we convert that into liters so that we are able to multiply it by milliliters? So molars is moles over liters. And then we have the volume. And in order to convert this to liters, we just do dimensional analysis. And then we can start crossing out the units to make sure everything works out. It does, we are only left with moles on top here. And that'll give us zero point, or, uh, 0.0047 moles. A strong base. And as we stated before, we then know that we have 0 0.0047 moles of weak acid. Okay. And now the second to last step would be to convert this into the concentration. Um, and so what we have is 25, 25.0 milliliters. Um, there we go. Okay. And we convert that to liters by dimensional analysis so that we can get moles over liters, which is the concentration of molar. Okay, and that will give us 0 0.186 liters, or moles, sorry. <clears throat> and so the last thing I would do is just to double check uh, sig figs at the end of the question. And so we're given three sig figs here, uh, three sig figs here, three sig figs here, and all of our calculations, as you can see here, three sig figs, multiplying three sig figs, um, that's an exact value. And so we should end up with three sig figs at the very end, 0.186. And so uh, how you went wrong was that, first of all, in your BCA table, you're solving for two different variables, uh, which is impossible. You can only ever solve for one. 
Um, and you also just don't need a BCA table at all because we know that the moles of weak acid equals the moles of strong base. And so there's no need to make any uh, further calculations here. We already know that they're equal. And yeah, that's how I would approach the problem.